Uh, lots of questions this morning for you uh, about what is happening. And so let's just start with what do you know and what are you investigating? <laughs> Andrew, as you can imagine, and your viewers know that I can't speak about any uh, possible investigations, but let's step back and say what's happening here. And it's it's really as, as old as finance and as antiquity. When you, you mix together a bunch of customer money, non-disclosure, and leverage, borrowing against it, and inside, uh, you know, these companies trading, uh, investors get hurt. And I think just looking at what we see in the press, if I can stay with that, just Andrew, mm -hmm. um, uh, this story has been going on for uh, many months. Uh, you remember the collapse of Terra Luna and a bunch of crypto lending platforms. Well, it looks like in the last few days, this is all interconnected. This is a very uh, interconnected world in crypto with a few concentrated players at the middle. And one of those concentrated players had the toxic uh, uh, combinations of lack of disclosure, customer money, uh, a lot of leverage, meaning borrowing, and then trying to invest with that. And then when uh, markets turned on them, uh, it appears that uh, uh, a lot of customers lost money. And that's, that's where our uh, mission is, is about those customers. Well, let's talk about that, Gary, because critics would say, look, you have uh, been talking about the need for regulating uh, and yet have not. There's been lots of focus. We had you on last time uh, when you went after Kim Kardashian. Uh, but on a relative basis, going after Kim Kardashian uh, compared to uh, what is now a, a massive undoing of FTX um, isn't enough. What do you say about that? Look. I, I think that investors need better protection in this space. But I would say this. This is a field that's significantly non-compliant, but it is, it's got regulation, and those regulations are often very clear. And we have multiple paths. And one path is working with those uh, crypto exchanges, crypto lending platforms, and to get them properly registered and why that matters is that so the public's protected. But we have another path, which is enforcement. We've brought between my predecessor and, and, and the teams uh, now at the SEC um, uh, at least 100 actions in this case. And we've been very clear in these various uh, uh, enforcement actions. And we had a big win even this week on a crypto token called Library, where a court clearly said, you've been on fair notice. And yes, this is the securities under the securities law. But, but, uh, but Gary, in, dual, in fairness, these, these there's, in fairness, in fairness there, there are millions, if not billions of dollars that are going to get tied up that potentially will get lost in this situation by in, investors, uh, not just retail investors, but pensions <coughs> that have given money to venture capitalists that have invested in these things. Shouldn't this be more regulated? Uh, yes, Andrew, and the laws are clear. And, and look, the runway is running out. I mean, uh, uh, the American <coughs> public and, and investors around the globe are getting hurt by a field that says they, they put a lot of fancy talk around it, Andrew. And the technology is interesting. And I taught it at MIT. And I think that it's, there is some interest innovations here. But we still need investor protection. And so what I would say is, Come in and talk to us. You've heard that before. The runway is getting right. shorter and the, the laws are clear. And it's pretty rich for me when I think about it. When I mean, look, there's also celebrities. You talked about celebrities. There's celebrity CEOs in this space as well. Celebrity right. crypto uh, uh, entrepreneurs. And so the public can can fall prey to their uh, promotions, their marketing and the like, and it's really important. Our third path is also investor education. Going on a show like this right. is also to say to the public, beware, this is highly speculative. It is regulated, but uh, without prejudging any one circumstance, largely non-compliant. Gary, you said uh, people should come in, if you will. Uh, Sam Bankman fried it appears from your calendar, uh, on March 29th, 2022, at 4 p.m., came in and actually met with you, uh, along with Brad Katsuyama of IEX, someone who has uh, draped himself 
in the flag, if you will, of, of, of an honorable exchange. Do you feel like you were hoodwinked? I think we've been clear uh, uh, in these meetings, and you can look at my, if my calendar's public, uh, many meetings with folks in this industry. It, very clear in these meetings, same message to the public, same message to them. Uh, that non-compliance is not going to work. The public's going to be hurt, but also we're going to continue on these dual paths. And if we need to, going to be the cop on the beat, going into court, uh, putting the facts and the law in front of uh, judges.